Hi there, I'm Heidi and I want to talk about a fun technique for, especially for card making, but really for any of your paper crafting. What I'm showing you today is how to use the toner reactive paint for the mink with a, with a stencil. Um, in this case, made this cute little card and I've used a little mini vellum envelope and this polka dot stencil. And I've applied the paint medium over the top of this envelope. And um, what's fun about it is that I used a really fun, colorful paper to make the card that goes on the inside. Used a little embellishment on the outside and, uh, and just closed it with a little piece of, of marquee, this is actually marquee glitter tape. So lots of fun things here, but let's just go ahead and talk about how to stencil on an envelope. So I brought another vellum envelope here. It's just a little one and um, it fits perfectly right underneath this six inch d polka dot stencil. So I'm going to position that right over the envelope and just dot out a little bit of the reactive paint onto my craft mat. You want to make sure that you're using a non-stick craft mat for these mediums because they get a little bit sticky. Now anytime that we use stencil and paint, we want to make sure that we're not using too much paint because otherwise the paint just seeps underneath the stencil and likes to make a bit of a mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm using, I love these little makeup sponges, they're triangular makeup sponges, and I always like to hold the skinny end and then dab the medium with this thicker portion of the sponge. I buy these at Walmart, is the, the cheapest place to find them in the cosmetic area. So what I'm going to do is grab a little bit of the paint and I'm going to kind of dab it off a little bit because I don't want oozing amounts of paint. Now this is tricky because the reactive paint is clear. Now I'm just going to pounce it on. Notice how I'm just doing like an up and down motion instead of some kind of a rubbing motion and that's going to make it so the paint is only going to go up and down on the stencil and hopefully not seep underneath too much onto the surface of my envelope. All right, now I'm going to lift it up and hopefully I've pretty much covered. Now, if I hold this in the light right, you'll be able to see that they kind of shine, the little dots kind of shine, so you can kind of get an idea of how they look and that looks pretty good. The next step is that I'm going to use my heat tool. This is the Heidi Swap Mink Heat Tool, which is just a regular heat tool. It just matches, so it looks super cute. So you want to make sure that every, all the mediums are completely dry before you put them through the mink. It doesn't take long for that to dry because we've really just added a very thin coat. So like every time you use the mink machine, you are still going to want to use a transfer folder. I'm going to go ahead and lay the foil right over the envelope. And always you want to make sure that the, the, it's the shiny side up on the foil. I have this set to a number three. Vellum is usually a number two, but because it's an envelope, I kept it at number three because it's just a little bit thicker. While I'm waiting for the mink to do its work is a good time for me to clean my stencil because like I said, this stuff is pretty sticky. That's what helps the reactivity. So you want to make sure that you clean your tools, whether it's a stencil or a screen or whatever you're using, clean it right away. All right. When you take it out of the machine, it doesn't need any dry time. You're just going to go ahead and lift the foil. Now, I love this effect because even though it's very shiny and shimmery, as you use the paint and the stencil, you get a really interesting effect every time. All right, so that's all it takes. So dig out your stencils, grab some reactive paint, and make pretty stuff.